pet should I get? Do you have a pet? Are you following us for our pet study? Well. Welcome to a very special Read Aloud with Miss Glam and the Glam Girl Reads. Today is a very special day. Today is the birthday of a beautiful author named Dr. Seuss. Do you know another Dr. Seuss book? Do you know this character? Yes, that's the cat in the hat that is this most famous character that he's known for. Today, we are going to read a book by Dr. Seuss, but before we do, let's sing our hello song. Hello children, hello children, how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? Hello, and like I was saying, today is Dr. Seuss's birthday. Now, just like everyone else, Dr. Seuss went through the cycle of life, and he actually was born in 1904, and he passed in 1991. But this book that I'm going to read today was actually published in 2019. Dr. Seuss was a brilliant man and he used to jot down some ideas and jot down some different characters and he still gets credit for this book that he was able to jot down even after he passed. But the story is called, What Pet Should I Get? Do you have a pet? Are you following us for our pet study? Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the story called What Pet Should I Get? What type of pet do you think they're going to end up getting? I think that there's going to be two characters who have to negotiate. They have to both come up with an idea and an agreement that they're only going to choose just one. So even though one might like a dog and another might like a cat, or maybe one wants a ferret and another one wants a bird, they have to come to an agreement that there's only one pet that they're gonna be able to get. Let's jump into our story. We want a pet, we want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop, I went there with Kay, and so we went in. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands, so we shook. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat and said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Now, what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now, how could Kay and I make up our mind? A pup and a kitten, they look like good fun. Now, which would we pick? We could only pick one. Make up your mind. The cat or the dog or the kitten, the pup? Oh boy, it is something to make up your mind. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with the rabbit today. <laughs> then I looked at Kay and I said, what will we do? I like all the pets I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know, mother told us to be back by noon. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet, I could have said what pet we should get. But you know what Kate did? Do you know what she did? She said, fish, fish, fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. 
Then I saw a new kind, and they were good too. How could I pick which one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one, that is what my dad said. But how could I make up that mind in my head? Make up your mind. Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So maybe some other good kind of pet, another kind maybe is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet that is tall, a tall pet who fits in a space that is small. My mother might like this best of them all. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yet. Dad will like us to have a good yet, but how do I know he'll pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet? How can you make up your mind what to get? But... If we took one of each kind of pet, then our house will be full of pets we will get. No! Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we don't choose, we'll end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up that mind that is up in my head. The dog, the rabbit, the fish, or the cat. I picked out one fast, and then that was that. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bump. Ba la 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like this story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. I hope that you guys had some good time with this sitting read aloud and I hope that you are able to come up with some different rhymes on your own. And just like with Dr. Seuss and his wife found a little box with all of his ideas and they were able to create this wonderful book, I hope that you have a journal and you are jotting down some ideas of different things that you would like to do. Maybe you're jotting down goals or maybe you're jotting down story ideas. I want you to remember that we need to read every day. Reading is so special and important for our brains. Until next time, my friends. So long.